Hi, this is Mike Fauché, aka PC Doc. Um, kind of want to walk through a quick video on creating a storage space volume. Um, I think I'd like to go through and actually create a parity volume. Um, the process for creating a stripe or a mirror volume is exactly the same, but my intention of this experiment is to actually compare hardware RAID 5 with a software RAID 5, something that's fairly new in Windows 8. Um, we never had an opportunity to create a parity uh, um, array before. So the um, first part is actually to go ahead and create the array and, and using storage spaces. So let's let's go ahead and do that. To do that, you right click, pull up your all apps and go to your control panel. Just by typing CON, it will take you to the control panel. Once you're in the control panel, you're going to go under system and security and storage spaces. Once you're into storage spaces, um, you're simply going to create, create uh, click on create a new pool. It gives you a prompt. You go ahead and say yes. And it's prompting me for the three drives that I have put into the system. So I have three blank two terabyte e ERs drives, Western Digital ERs drives. And you can see them all listed here. They're all checked off. And the next option is to go ahead and create create pool. Uh, it takes just a couple of seconds. It comes up. It's preparing the drives. It should be done here shortly. And there you have it. So it's come up with some options here. It's giving me an unnamed drive. It's giving me a drive letter. And here it gives me the option of a, I can do a, a, a two-way mirror, a three-way mirror, or a parity. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on parity because that's really what I wanna create. And then as you can see here, the logical size, for some reason it defaults to 2.72 don't exactly know um, why but it tells me I have 4.07 terabytes of maximum pool, pool capacity so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to 4.07 um, so i have go ahead and, and I've created everything I'm just going to leave it as unnamed here or I'll just call it uh, test that's close enough yeah, from that point on, I'm going to create click storage space, and it goes through a couple seconds. It says it's creating a storage space, and in just a moment or so, it should complete the task. So let's give it a second. And there we have it. There's my, uh, tells me it's okay. Here's my test drive G. 4.07 terabytes of logical size. It's using 3 gigabytes, assumingly for overhead. So that's pretty much it. I've created uh, my my parity. So I'm going to go ahead and just verify that by clicking on the file manager. And I'm going to go ahead and go to computer. And there's my, my drive G with uh, 4.06 uh, 4 terabytes free. So I'm pretty much done with that. So the next phase is to go ahead and, and begin testing uh, the performance of this thing. So for now, that's it. Um, hope you've enjoyed the storage pool demo.